Tammy Ray. I am the K-12 Media Specialist at Dover Iota Public Schools. So I teach K-6 media classes and work K-12 with the teachers and staff um, to have media and technology within their classrooms as well. So some of the things that we have worked on in coding and computer science related programming um, have been working with code.org and that has been K-6 um, for my media classes. And then um, we worked with Spheros for third grade, as well as the Girls Who Code Clubs for the middle school, high school. And the elementary club, which is um, grades three through five, we'll be working with them um, this coming week as well. Um, we've done B-Bots with the second graders. We've been programming um, those robots. Um, and we've also worked with Google CS First um, for fifth, sixth, and then we're currently working with a conceptual physics class of 11th and 12th graders as well for um, Google CS First. Um, the benefits that students receive from coding and computer science is the aspect of how it takes to program a computer. Um, block coding has been a huge part of what we've been doing with coding. Um, and knowing that type of language, which is important in these 21st century skills for these um, younger students. Um, they've also have been very uh, creative in their um, projects that they've um, done, and as well as coding the different robots and how to make the lights move, the sounds, um, adding uh, speaking features to those robots. Uh, has been absolutely wonderful to see their enjoyment and I think they just enjoy the fun aspect of it as well because of course coding is a lot of fun. <laughs> Another aspect of our computer science um, related activities at Dover Yoda have been the Tech Nest and students are currently working on different projects of their interests through technology. Some can include PowerPoints or even this project that um, video that you're currently viewing right now. Um, so uh, a shout out to our Tech Nest um, friends. The American um, Library Association is uh, ALA is the acronym for it and they are a nationwide organization that has teamed up with Google um, and the Google CS First programming um, for ready to code um, libraries as well um, that have put together some funding. There's a million dollars that they have put towards um, micro funding um, for 250 libraries so far, but they also have the ready to code program that has been launched just this last week as well. Um, that we are one of the 250 public um, and school libraries that have received this microfunding um, that we will be awarded our $500 uh, after we go through this week of uh, computer science um, education week. There's another potential um, uh, mini grant that they are possibly offering to other or to the libraries once we um, put into work what we've done um, this week. Thank you ALA and Google. We really appreciate your help with this endeavor. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.